Business Center is always working on new tools to help you manage your bandwidth. Now it's given your company administrators the power to choose bandwidth alert thresholds. And they can set up notifications for AT&T dedicated internet service circuits. You can apply these alerts to all your AT&T dedicated internet circuits or just to individual ones. And if an alert happens, the notification email makes it easy to put more bandwidth exactly where it's needed. Watch and we'll show you how. Let's set up an alert threshold that applies to all our company's AT&T dedicated internet circuits. Later, we'll show you how to do this for just one circuit. Log into Business Center as a company administrator. On the home page, select Profile. Then choose Set Bandwidth Alert Threshold and Notifications. Keep in mind, the option only appears if you're a company administrator, and AT&T dedicated internet service must be provisioned in your company profile. If you don't see this menu option, use the Chat Live feature to get support. There are three parts to setting up an alert threshold. First, select the percentage of the available bandwidth that usage must exceed for at least an hour's duration to set off an alert. Then select how many times that must happen. And then select the time frame during which those events must happen. For example, we've set up an alert when usage exceeds 80% of a circuit's capacity for at least three one-hour periods during a single day. If alerts occur after the end of the week, an email notification is sent by default to all company administrators. It covers alerts that occurred over the past week. Select Save. Now you can choose whether the new alert threshold should apply to all AT&T dedicated internet circuits or just those that don't already have their own thresholds. Later, we'll see how to set up a single circuit alert threshold. We'll apply the new setting to all AT&T dedicated internet circuits and select Save. Success! The change is applied to all our AT&T dedicated internet circuits. Now we'll use an email alert to upgrade the port speed exactly where it's needed. Here's an example of the weekly alert email sent to company administrators. It shows that usage exceeded the alert thresholds on 30 circuits. If we select Log into Business Center to manage your circuits, we go directly to the Network Inventory page listing these circuits. You'll have to log into Business Center if you haven't done so already. The alert icons tell you which sites had alerts. We'll expand one of these sites to view its circuits. To view the details, expand the site again. Notice that the alert icon appears next to the router address and the port speed. Select the alert icon next to port speed to see the actual usage that caused the alert. To change the port speed and put more bandwidth where it's needed, choose Upgrade Port Speed. The Manage page for the circuit appears. We'll expand Speed and Minimum Bandwidth and select the pencil icon. Use the slider to set up a request for more capacity on the port and select Save. When the success message appears, choose Review Order. Check your order for accuracy. You can expand Speed and Minimum Bandwidth to check the new port speed. We'll accept the terms and conditions, and then select Schedule Order. Next, request an activation date, and then select Submit Order. A confirmation message appears. We'll email you with updates as we process your order. Now, let's set up an alert threshold for a single AT&T dedicated internet circuit. We'll start on the network inventory page, showing the individual circuit where we want to set up an alert threshold. Select the actions arrow and choose Manage Usage Alerts. This form is like the one we saw earlier, except it applies to just one circuit. Set up the alert threshold values. Just like for company-wide circuit threshold alert notifications, company administrators are notified by email of any alerts for this circuit after the end of the week. With individual circuit alerts, you can set up a separate email in addition to the default company administrator email. Just select an email address. These emails are sent the day after an alert is detected when day is selected, or after the end of the week when week is selected. Select Next. Blocking Preferences lets you set up periods of time when you don't want to trigger an alert. For instance, you could use this to prevent alerts during scheduled circuit testing. We won't use this feature now, but you can explore it on your own. Remember to select Save, and you'll get a success message. For a list of single circuits set up for a threshold alert, return to the Bandwidth Alerts tabs and choose Asset Alert Preferences. And that's our introduction. Learn more at att.com slash digital training.